In this video, we're going to write a C++ program to add together two numbers from user input and output the result. The first thing we'll do is declare three variables. We'll say int x comma y comma sum. So x and y are going to store the two numbers. Sum is going to store the resulting sum. And we've used the int type to declare these three variables, which means they're going to be able to store integers. They're not going to be able to store real numbers with decimal places. We'll prompt the user to enter two integers. We'll say C out, enter two integers. Next, we'll use C in to store the two numbers that are entered by the user into the variables X and Y. So we'll say C in X and then Y. Next, we'll sum together these two numbers. We'll say sum is equal to X plus Y. And then finally, we can output the result. So we'll say C out and we'll have X followed by plus followed by Y followed by is equal to, followed by the sum, and then an end line. So if we save and compile and run our program, we'll be prompted to enter in two integers. And if we put in four and five, we'll get back a sum of nine. So our program is working correctly. Now, because we use the int type for our variables, we can't store numbers with decimal places into these variables. If we use the double type instead, we could. So we could change the type to double. And now we'll tell the user they can enter in numbers because they can enter in really any number with a decimal place now. We can save this, compile and run our program. And now I can enter in numbers like 2.75 and 5.75. And we'll get a result of 8.5, which is correct. So if we want our program to work with numbers with decimal places, we can just use the double type instead. If you would like more information about how C out and CN are outputting text to the user and accepting user input, I've posted links to videos in the video description. So this is how we can add together two numbers from user input and output the result using C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.